Welcome back, crafters, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make an automated sugarcane farm in 1.20. This works on all other updates as well, so if you guys are curious about that, now you know. Alright, first things first, you're going to need 18 blocks of sand, a water bucket, doesn't, and then at least a stack of whatever other building block you want. 18 pistons, 18 observers, 18 redstone, 18... 20 hoppers you're going to need for this. Any light source as well. Torches, anything you want to use. So once you got your setup looking like this, you're going to want to come through and place 18 of your sugarcane all the way down. Take a block like this. Put it like that. Covers the water. 18 down that way. Then, go ahead and take your pistons, make sure they're facing this way towards the sugarcane, place 18 pistons. Then you're going to want to place 18 observers. Make sure when you're placing them, the arrow is pointing this way and it doesn't look like this. If the face isn't this way, it's not right. The face needs to be towards the front of the piston. Then, come behind with this. Another 18 blocks right here. Place your redstone like this, just like the other farm with the bamboo. Then what you're going to want to do, you can pro you can do it with water buckets like this if you don't have the ability to make the hoppers right off the rip. Or however, because this is a, another farm that you're going to want to use to AFK in. What you do is put one water bucket there. Come over here and put one right there. Then all you would need is two hoppers and your chest. Thought I had one, I guess not. So grab a chest. Place your chest right there. Come behind. You're going to crouch. Place and jump. It should not look like that. It should look like this. If done correctly, the popper will be inside the chest. Come up here, crouch, boom. Now, if you don't want this gap here, go ahead and get yourself some slabs. This is the way you can make it without hoppers. You, like, you only need two hoppers for this build. If you guys want to see the hoppers, I have it in my primary world. Let me know down below and I'll show you how I made it there. It took a lot of resources. This right here doesn't only takes two water buckets. So, you tell me which one you think is easier to build. Any slab will do. We're going to use bamboo. And just come over here and put your slabs like that. Your chest will still open. Go ahead and fill this hole back in that you made by mistake. You got that going next. What you're going to do is you're going to take your light source. And you're going to put it just like this. One, two, three. Over, over, and then over like this. So you can put it right in the front of this build. It really doesn't matter where you put the light source or what you use. Next, if you want to be fancy, we can get some glass. Get your glass, and then just place your glass like this all the way around, up top, put your glass down like this. You don't have to do any of this in your build if you don't want to. All you really need is this main setup with the observers, the sand, the sugar cane, the pistons and then the water and the hoppers in your chest. Everything else is optional. And I messed up. I put one in front of the observer so it activated. Anytime anything, any block or any creature gets in front of it, it will activate the observer. And there you have it, my friends. An automated sugarcane farm. You could definitely make it bigger if you wanted to. I've seen bigger builds. This is just something quick, simple, and easy. 
If you guys found this video informative, if you liked it, smash the like button. Hit that subscribe button for more tips and tutorials. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.